Rahimu Tayamu says in a question that I received on my page, I try to have a baby and I ask Allah in every salah to give us a baby. Now I feel scared about asking too much. Should I stop praying and Allah will give us at the time that He wants? No, you shouldn't. And the condition that you're living in right now is some sort of whispers from Satan. This is a clock that Satan is trying to confuse you with. In fact, what you're doing currently of constantly praying is what Allah likes, what Allah wants from you, what the Prophet ﷺ have recommended. What you're planning to do or what you're asking about whether it's right or wrong, that asking too much is like, I feel it is wrong and I should quit. If Allah wants to give me, He will give me. This is exactly what the Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade us against. He says in the hadith which is narrated by Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him. And the hadith is collected by Imam al-Bukhari, يُسْتَجَابُ لِأَحَدِكُمْ مَا لَمْ يَعْجَلْ يُسْتَجَابُ that the prayer of any of you will be definitely answered as long as he does not hasten. They said, Ya Rasulullah, what does it mean as long as he does not hasten? He or she. Uh, he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Yaqul, the person who is invoking Allah, like in your case, Sister Rahimu, that he says, I have been praying for so long. So he quits. He quits making dua because he thinks I pray too much. Like in your case, this is a very strange whisper. He says that don't bother Allah too much by your dua. This is like, you know, being annoying. No, 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 no. no. It is entirely on the contrary. Allah loves to hear your dua. Believe it or not, Allah the Almighty sometimes delays the answer of the dua because He loves to hear your invocation. He loves to hear your remembrance of Allah the Almighty. As long as you are in need, you are invoking Allah the Almighty. So He likes to hear that from you. So continue making dua. And as the Prophet ﷺ said, nothing changes one's destiny or decree other than ad dua. Other than ad dua. So continue making dua. This is what Allah recommended. In Surah Ghafir, He says, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمُ ادْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ Your Lord said, invoke me, ask of me, supplicate to me, I shall answer your supplication. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah the Almighty informed us that He is so near to us, nearer to us than we can ever imagine. So keep your relationship to Allah the Almighty uh, connected throughout the time. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانَ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ The ayah was delivered as an answer to a frequently asked question by the companions to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Is Allah near to us so that when we invoke Him, we should invoke Him quietly, supplicate to Him secretly, or is he far away in order for him to hear us? We have to cry out loud and scream. So Allah the Almighty delivered the answer that whenever my servants ask you concerning me, I'm indeed near. I answer the supplication of the supplicant whenever he invokes me. So let them respond to me by making dua. Believe in me in order to be rightly guided. May Allah grant you a goodly offspring. Assalamu alaikum.